Welcome back. The 47th annual Mount Horeb Summer Frolic officially kicks off later today, running all weekend long, showcasing area bands, food, and fun for the whole family. Vice President of the Frolic Committee, Mike Kohler, joins us now with all the details. We met last year at Summer Frolic on the volleyball court. Indeed. And you beat me. Uh, yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty significantly, but that's just one of the many things the Mount Horeb Summer Frolic has. Volleyball, bean bag toss, let's talk about some more. Yeah, absolutely. It all starts tonight, as you mentioned. It goes from uh, 5 o'clock until uh, 10 o'clock tonight. And tonight is more of our, our chamber social and our, our event sponsorship. But um, down at the carnival, we have wristband night tonight for, uh, for all the writers and whatnot. That starts again at 5 o'clock, and the, and the carnival goes until 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, the wristbands are $18. If the weather doesn't cooperate tonight, we yeah. have another wristband opportunity on uh, on Saturday from okay. noon to four. Saturday looks fantastic for coming out, so you should be okay then if it doesn't work out tonight. Yeah, absolutely. What a blessing that'll be. Yes, area bands. Uh, cherry pie tomorrow night, big draw for us. It'll be a great night. And then uh, Saturday we have union suits. Or, or, yes, union suits opening for Madison County. And then on Sunday we have staff infection plan. So it's, we have big, big bands out there this weekend, and th that should be a big crowd for us. Fantastic. And you also have a walk-run. Yep, that's Saturday morning. Registration starts at 7.30, and the run kicks off at about 8.30. And this year we're paying a uh, tribute to Janelle Heilick, Heilick, uh Hillbrand is her name. And um, so we uh, dedicated the run to her this year. And um, Saturday's a, a big, big day for us. All weekend long we have bingo, we have youth baseball. Um, Saturday is also volleyball. Um, that kicks off around 8 o'clock. Um, that's down in the southwest corner of the park. And it's just uh, Saturday is a really busy day for us. Good. Yeah. And you're also going to have a parade. Yep. Sunday is our parade. And this year we have the, uh, you know, the event is held at Grundle Park, um, mm -hmm. kind of on the far west side of Mount Horeb. And this year we are paying uh, our respects to the Grundle family, and they are going to be our parade marshals this year. So I think four members of the Grundle family are going to participate and be the uh, marshals of the parade this year. And that all starts at noon, and that goes right downtown Mount Horeb. So I went to Mount Horb Summer Frolic for road tripping with Ashley last year. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that I remember about it are the great carnival rides and the food. There was wonderful food there. The food is nothing short of fantastic. <laughs> it's, you know, we have a wide variety of food, you know, besides the food that you can get, you know, I don't want to say anywhere. We also have a food tent that, you know, me being a member of the soccer club, what we do is we arrange all the volunteers for the main tent, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so we have food up there, and then down below at the bottom of the hill, or on the west side of the park, we have another shelter over there, and the rotary, they, they do all their cooking over there, and they, uh, so there's, there's plenty of options for great food at the Frolic. That sounds wonderful. Again, this year in, NBC 15's Amy Flukesop is going to be road tripping to the Mount Horeb Summer Frolic tomorrow, so if you can't make it out there, you can see her there for NBC 15 News at 5 and 6. We hope you have a wonderful weekend out there. If you'd like any information on the schedule, just go to NBC15.com and click on News Links. Next